on the edge of glory in the Zia Park Oaks and it's Cassatt for Kerwin Clark coming to the final for long two lengths in front of the girl in that song and Shannon Nicole plugging away in second and third Cassatt with the advantage and Cassatt is painting a masterpiece in the Zia Park Oaks Cassatt destroys the field Alert Bay skips away on the front end it's Alert Bay who's three lengths in front of Tanito M and then comes proceed into third but Alert Bay off of two stakes wins in a row in Canada comes to New Mexico and dominates the Zia Park Derby over Tanito M and then came proceed running on for third fourth went to Bay of Biscay final time for a mile and 1 16th another track record 1 minute 41.80 seconds slugging it out isn't he clever Enrique Gomez old wide drinker who and Carlos Madera photo finish in the Zia Park Championship between isn't he clever and old wine drinker who and then came Code West well clear of big tall Paul time for a mile and an eight one minute 48.48 seconds that obliterates the previous track record superstars to the wire and JRC Callis first seven wins in a row wins the Zia Park quarter horse championship Foxy Moonflash strutting her stuff though and powering clear to win the New Mexico Quarter Horse Phillies and Mares Championship with GR Carter Jr. aboard. Liberty Lover coming with a head of steam for Rye Eichelberry. Liberty Lover races up to Desert Gambler and Liberty Lover is the winner of the Eddie County Stakes. Blasting Bubbles went to the front at the top of the stretch, never looked back and wins the Zia Park Distaff photo second. The $300,000 Zia Park Oaks is the richest race for female horses in New Mexico. It represents one of the final opportunities for three-year-old fillies to compete against their own age group. As such, it's attracted a stellar cast here in Hobbs to Zia Park, led by a very good out-of-state contingent that includes the Jerry Hollendorfer trained duo of the girl in that song and Taste Like Candy from California. Shannon Nicole has won two $200,000 stakes races in a row in Indiana and Oklahoma, and Cassatt is the winner of the Grade 3 Monmouth Oaks in New Jersey, and Zia Park is the meeting point for this talented group of three-year-old fillies. Jockey Elvis Trujillo now positions taste like candy forward, and they're all in. Gates open, the Zia Park Oaks is underway with Belle of the Beach showing her cards early and going to the front. Dream Spinner, Cassad, and Taste Like Candy make a line of four past the finish line with a lap to go as they race into the clubhouse turn. Shannon Nicole sits second last. And the early trailer is the girl is the girl in that song. Midway through the clubhouse turn, heading to the back stretch, and it is taste like candy on the outside of Cassatt. They're stride for stride with three quarters of a mile to go. Racing two lengths in front of Dream Spinner and third in the yellow sleeve jacket on the outside of Belle of the Beach. And the final two are Shannon Nicole and the girl in that song. So three pairs in the Zia Park Oaks heading down the back stretch with Cassatt. Now press forward by Kerwin Clark to grab a half length lead from Taste Like Candy and Elvis Trujillo with a length and a half back to Belle of the Beach tucked away in between Dream Spinner and the girl in that song starting to move forward taking a brave route along the rail. Only two lengths from the front as they bunch up with three-eighths of a mile to the finish. And Shannon Nicole, the favorite, sits last with six lengths to make up as Cassatt tries to steal it on the front end, making a good impression to this point. Two lengths in advance of the girl in that song who's gone from last into second place. Shannon Nicole starting to run on in the green cap and then comes Belle of the Beach, Dream Spinner, and Tastes Like Candy off the turn on the edge of glory in the Zia Park Oaks. And it's Cassatt for Kerwin Clark coming to the final for long two lengths in front of the girl in that song and Shannon Nicole plugging away in second and third. Cassatt with the advantage and Cassatt is painting a masterpiece in the Zia Park Oaks. Cassatt destroys the field, defeats the girl in that song and Shannon Nicole and then Belle of the Beach. Time for a mile and 1 16th, 1 minute 42.29 seconds. A strong contingent of New Mexico base horses will try and circle the wagons 
in the $200,000 Zia Park Derby at a mile and a 16th. Trainer Joel Marr, who earlier this month won the 1,000th thoroughbred race of his career, saddles the undefeated Proceed. Proceed has won three stakes races in a row in New Mexico, and so has the Justin Evans-trained Al Sono. The out-of-state contingent is led by Oklahoma Derby winner Tenito M. and Alert Bay, who has won two graded stakes wins in a row in Canada. And Street Prancer... The last horse to load. Gates open. The Zia Park Derby is underway. Perfect start. All seven runners come away in a line. Walt looking for the front in the black silks outside of Alert Bay, Bay of Biscay, and Alsono along the rail. Street Prancer forced wide into the opening turn. Proceed taken back second last, and the favorite Tenito M last of the seven, and seven lengths off the lead as they leave the grandstand behind them and move through the clubhouse turn, and it's Alsono under a tight hold from Rye Eichelberry. Allows Walt now to race ahead in front of him, heading to the back stretch. These two a length and a half in advance of Alert Bay in the pink silks in third in Inside of Street Prancer, Tanito M making stealthy progress into fifth along the inside of Bay of Biscay. The top two finishers in the Oklahoma Derby race together with New Mexico Star proceed to the outside. A bunch field coming to the halfway stage. Seven runners covered by just four lengths as Alsono and Walt continue to set the agenda past the half mile pole together with Alert Bay now angled to the outside by Rico Walcott. Bay of Biscay making a move. Four of them stride for stride into the far turn with two and a half lengths back to Tanito M. And then comes Street Prancer dropping back to last overtaken by Proceed. Midway round the far turn. And it is Alert Bay who makes the long bid for victory in the pink silks for Rico Walcott. Comes past the quarter pole. Narrowly in front of Bay of Biscay. Tanito M shifted to the outside by Bay Hirano with three lengths to make up as they turn into the home stretch. And Alert Bay skips away on the front end. It's Alert Bay who's three lengths in front of Tanito Nito M, and then comes Proceed into third, but Alert Bay off of two stakes wins in a row in Canada comes to New Mexico and dominates the Zia Park Derby over to Nito M, and then came Proceed running on for third. Fourth went to Bay of Biscay. Final time for a mile and 1 16th. Another track record 1 minute 41.80 seconds. 0.14 seconds better than the previous record set last year by Old Wine Drinker Who. Old Wine Drinker, whose best career races have come here in Hobbs at Zia Park, and his connections will hope they can raise another glass after this next race, the Zia Park Championship. Old Wine Drinker, who won the Zia Park Derby in 2012, he is the defending champion in this $150,000 Zia Park Championship at a mile and an eighth. However, isn't he clever? Maybe Zia Park's newest star with two straight gate to wire wins in stakes races in New Mexico. Gates open. The Zia Park Championship is underway with Code West taking on Isn't He Clever for the early lead. Big Tall Paul sits in third and defending champion Old Wine Drinker who fourth and last as they pass the finish line with a lap to go in this mile and one-eighth $150,000 race. And Isn't He Clever right where he likes to be, positioned on the front for Enrique Gomez, but being shadowed to his outside by Code West and Clifton Berry, Big Tall Paul in the leader slipstream in third, a length behind. An old wine drinker who and Carlos Madera look on from last place. The quartet covered by three lengths as they head to the back stretch. And isn't he clever? Nursing a leisurely lead, a half length in front of Code West in the gold silks, one off the fence in second. And this first pair, two lengths in front of the second pair, big tall Paul just being pushed along to keep up the gallop. And old wine drinker who waiting for his moment in last place as the four runners are tightly bunched coming to the halfway stage. Isn't he clever? And Enrique Gomez, three quarters of a length in front of Code West and Clifton Berry. And then comes big tall Paul and old wine drinker who. Jockeys content with their positions, still waiting to play their cards. Old Wine Drinker Who now beginning to run out of last place as Isn't He Clever tries to shake away on the front end. He's opened up a length and a half. Old Wine Drinker Who into second and then Code West asked to go by Clifton Berry and Big Tall Paul out galloped at the rear. They turn for home on the edge of glory in the Zia Park Championship. Defending champion Old Wine Drinker Who races up to eyeball Isn't He Clever. A dogfight with a furlong left. Isn't He Clever inside of 
Bull Wine Drinker Who slugging it out. Isn't he clever? Enrique Gomez, Old Wine Drinker Who, and Carlos Madera photo finish in the Zia Park Championship between Isn't He Clever and Old Wine Drinker Who. And then came Code West, well clear of Big Tall Paul. Time for a mile and an eighth. One minute, 48.48 seconds. That obliterates the previous track record. DM streaking through fire is the defending champion in the Zia Park Quarter Horse Championship. He faces a very accomplished field in this year's renewal of the $150,000 Grade 1 race over the classic quarter horse distance of a quarter mile, 440 yards. He's relentless, was just one of two two-year-olds a year ago to make the finals of three $1 million futurities. He's coming off of a win in the Hobbs America Derby at Zia Park. Stimulus most recently capped the Bank of America Challenge Championship at Prairie Meadows in Iowa, and JRC Callis first on the outside has won six races in a row. Miracle Snow last to load. Outstanding field. They're set to go. Gates open the Zia Park Quarter Horse Championship is underway. He's relentless. Good start from the inside. JRC Callis first on the outside with Stimulus the Gray there as well. Cool Wave running a good race and then testing the ice in the center. It's He's Relentless on the inside. JRC Callis first to the outside. Stimulus in between them. Superstars to the wire and JRC Callis first. Seven wins in a row wins the Zia Park Quarter Horse Championship over Stimulus and He's Relentless. Ten New Mexico bred fillies and mares will slug it out over 400 yards in the $140,000 restricted grade one New Mexico quarter horse fillies and mares championship. The field is led by Foxy Moonflash coming off of a victory in the New Mexico Classic Derby on New Mexico Cup Day at Zia Park. Gates open the Phillies and Mares Championship is underway. Foxy Moonflash with a flying start already has opened up a length lead. Penny snatching on the outside. On the inside comes Desert Delight Cash, followed by Sandy's Jesse and Get Down Bambi. Foxy Moonflash strutting her stuff, though, and powering clear to win the New Mexico Quarter Horse Phillies and Mares Championship with G.R. Carter Jr. aboard over Get Down Bambi, Penny snatching, and then SLR Jesse's Girl. New Mexico bred two-year-olds take the spotlight in the $140,000 Eddy County Stakes at one mile. Four fillies in the field of 10 taking on the boys. Seven of the 10 ran in either the New Mexico Cup Juvenile Fillies or the New Mexico Cup Juvenile at Zia Park on October 26th. Desert Stepper, a filly who's a stablemate of Hank and Lefty Who from the Joel Mar Barn, will be last of the 10 two-year-olds bred in New Mexico to load. And they're ready to go. Gates open. The Eddy County Stakes is underway. Muy rapido with a rapid beginning. But a few of them want to be part of the front. Classy Attitude is hard ridden. And the Phillies lead into the clubhouse turn. Classy Attitude from Muy rapido. Liberty Lover along the rail. And Desert Gambler close up in between horses. First four covered by two and a half lengths. And they're followed a further length away by Caliente Carson. Ahead of Hank and Lefty Who. Lux is in mid-division. Pink Cap about six lengths off the lead. And then burning it towards the rear of the field with Book of Who Looker and Desert Stepper as the final two. Racing down the back stretch, and Corey Nakatani guides Desert Gambler to the lead, racing narrowly in front of Classy Attitude. These two a length and a half in advance of Muy Rapido in third. And then Liberty Lover in similar Robus and Silks to Muy Rapido in fourth inside of Caliente Carson. Burning it, taking a brave trip up the inside, but starting to make headway four lengths off the lead as they begin to bunch up inside the halfway stage. Lux covers extra ground wider on the course outside of Desert Stepper and Hank and Lefty Who and Book of Who Looker is last. Wide open midway round the far turn. The quarter pole is in sight and it's Desert Gambler with Muy Rapido now forcing the issue to the outside. Caliente Carson in the turquoise silks. Three horses wide. Liberty Lover. Red Shadow Roll now getting a split in between horses and then comes burning it as they race to the final furlong. Muy Rapido the filly in front of Desert Gambler, another Philly. Philly's trying to beat the boys, but Liberty Lover coming with a head of steam for Rye Eichelberry. Liberty Lover races up to Desert Gambler, and Liberty Lover is the winner of the Eddie County Stakes over Desert Gambler, Muy Rapido, and then came Caliente Carson. Time for the mile, 1 minute 38.22 seconds. 
The $75,000 Zia Park Distaff is for fillies and mares at six furlongs. The field of eight includes Doing Hard Time Again, a grade two stakes winner of the Great Lady M at Los Alamitos in Southern California, and African Rose, who won this race in 2012, Joyful Tap and Lady Contender, who were second and third respectively in this race a year ago, will try again in this year's renewal of the Zia Park Distaff. Gates open. The Zia Park Distaff is underway with Warren's Vetta de Lucy shooting out of the gates to the early lead. Fast and fine looking. A confirmed front runner, though, will reel her in, and it's fast and fine looking who takes the advantage for Jared Lovebury at the end of a furlong, a half length in advance of Warren's Vetta de Lucy. A gap of three lengths back to lasting bubbles in the red silks in third on the inside of African Rose with Brilliant Rescue in between that pair in fifth. And then comes Lady Contender together with Joyful Tap, third last and second last. And and doing hard time again is the trailer as they fly into the far turn. And it's fast and fine looking with the advantage. Upping the ante in front. Going a length and a half in advance of Warren's Vetta de Lucy. And then comes African Rose. Lasting bubbles starting to climb onto the heels of the leaders. Needs a way through coming to the top of the stretch in the red silks. The rail looks like it opened for lasting bubbles as they turn for home. Fast and fine looking with Lubbery shaking the reins as lasting bubbles sneaks through to the inside. And now grabs the lead with a furlong to go. Lasting Bubbles and Kerwin Clark open up by two lengths. Lady Contender running on from the back of the pack, doing hard time again from last. But Lasting Bubbles went to the front of the top of the stretch, never looked back, and wins the Zia Park Distaff. Photo second, Lady Contender, and doing hard time again. Final time for six furlongs, one minute, 9.93 seconds.